How's it going, guys? I'm Josh. And I'm oh, Josh. and I'm Graham, and I just say stupid things to make people laugh. I'm getting tired of it. Whoa, dude. What? Okay, fine. Come on, Graham. You know I didn't mean it, bud. I'm just kidding. What the hell? How do you do these things? And this is Ghost Talk. Yes, you got you want a popsicle? So that was easily the most effort we've ever put into an intro. Well, I mean, it helps that I'm magic. It, it, it helps that you can teleport. You know, and it helps that I'm easily scared. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that was great. What's up, guys? You are watching Gosh Talk. Let's fucking talk about it. So, giant holes in the earth. Yes. Yeah, giant man-made cavernous holes. Mines, mm. per se. Or mines. Or mines. That's their name for it. There's a mine. I found this out recently. There's a mine. Speaking of mines. Speaking wow. of mines. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence that we would move on to mines. That's so awesome. <laughs> so, there's a mine. Uh, it's called the Mir Mine. It's in uh, eastern Siberia in Russia. Okay, so Russia. Okay, Russia. Cool. Russian mine. They second lar right second right largest right? excavated uh, hole in the earth in the world. That's pretty serious stuff. Like, very, that's really very serious stuff. Yeah. And you said they mine their diamonds, right? Diamond, Diamond mines, mines, yeah. It's 525 meters deep and 1,200 meters around. So over a kilometer around Yikes. and half a kilometer deep. That's like, isn't, wow, that's huge. That's outrageous. That's absolutely huge. Yeah. Second largest in the world. Apparently, because of how big and deep it is, the airspace above the mine, it nice. The airspace <laughs> above the mine is uh, prohibited uh, from helicopters flying in right. because there have been incidents where helicopters have been sucked into the hole because of the downward air airflow. I don't want to say it's fantastic, but it's, because people are, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty. You think they prepare for that? I mean, you think of wind going through it. It's like a wind tunnel. Yeah, you know, if you put yeah. a truck in a wind tunnel. Behind it, it's going to gather up because mm -hmm. it's so high up. Yeah. Well, like, this is the same, but it's just lower down. It's just so the wind goes over it, collects, and it just and goes right in. And so wow. helicopters going over just get sucked right into the wow. wall. And I'm assuming it's in some kind of valley where it's Oh, I would, I would assume so, yeah. I mean, wow. when I first read it, it sounded like it was like a, a weapon that like a bad guy would use in like a James Bond movie. It's like sucking up all the helicopters. Yeah, but he, it's pretty obvious. I mean, there's a giant hole in the earth. Yeah, it's not very, a you giant vacuum. You can't keep it in like a suitcase, you know what I mean? It's not very... What, what's his name in... Today's, uh, today's Tom, Bad Guys. Is it Tomorrow Never Dies? Or Die, die, die Another Day, James okay. Bond. They had a giant thing in the sky, a laser beam in the sky. It doesn't have to fit in your pocket. This is not the same. It's exactly, it's exactly the same. A giant cave? Like a giant hole in the ground? As opposed to a giant thing in the sky. That's much more likely to hide from people. How is that... What? In the sky. Yes. It is more it's likely in the sky. to hide. Could they see the laser? Yes. Could they see it? Or was it in space? They could see it. Was it in space? It was a satellite in space. So and it's it a shot, satellite. And it shot a laser down Right, here. so you can't just be like, oh, look, a, a massive hey, Anybody with a telescope could be like, oh, what's that gigantic metal thing in Fair the enough. sky? But anybody with a body would notice a giant hole that you're standing in. Not if on. it was buried. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's hey, if they all holes are buried! That's exactly what it is! Yes! This conversation is... You did not just win. Don't make <laughs> the face that you... You can't hide a hole in the earth. If you come... Then it doesn't have the same property. Wind won't, wind okay. won't blow through it anymore. What's to say? If this, is, if this guy can make a 500 meter deep, 1200 <laughs> meter around hole in the ground, why can't, why can't you put a cover over it and remove it? Do you know how long it would take that cover to slide back? 1,200 feet? He's a villain. It's it's suspenseful for the main character to kill him. If it moved quickly enough to get 1,200 feet before it got to the end of it, it would not stop. I'm telling you that right now. It would just... So let's say it, let's say it takes five minutes for it to move over. I would move all my things above it, off of it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it, it takes five minutes to move. Or to, that, stand, or that, to stand on it and let it... That, that's five minutes. This is convenient. That's five minutes. It takes the guy to, to rule the earth. 
I think I just won. I just got saved by your platform of savedness. You're the best villain ever. Or the worst, really. No, I'm the best. No, the worst. I'm covering my weapon. It's the safety to my weapon. Right, but a laser in space doesn't need a cover. It's a star. It just looks like a satellite. A giant satellite with a laser gun on it. Right. It's just like any other satellite flying above you. You wouldn't know. Normal satellites don't have laser guns. You wouldn't look up and be like, hmm, that satellite looks like it has a laser gun attached to it. Have you seen the movie? They're too far away. Have you seen the movie? No. Well, then you don't know what it looks like. A satellite orbiting Earth has to be a certain amount of where, so it's just, it's just going to crash. No, it's not. Yes, it will. This guy's a, a genius. He put it into space himself. He doesn't control space. He could. He doesn't. He's he that, can't. He's that smart. No, he's yeah. not. He's so smart. Did he, James want to feed him? He's so smart that he could bury a cave underground with a cover and rule the Earth with it. Fuck, I'm so mad right now. I'm so rattled because I can't tell if you're being serious <laughs> or not. Long story short, uh, diamonds just aren't worth this giant carnivorous hole in the earth. Yeah. They're just not worth it. I mean, they're very pretty, but we real like, this will not just grow back, like, this amount of earth that we've just taken out. Like, it's not just going to come back. It's no. gone. Yeah. That's but, I mean, thought. You can just fill in the hole with all the stuff they dug up. But they have to come... What? No, they're using it. They use it for other stuff as well. Like, if they find limestone in it, that's all used. Things of that nature. Well, they, it's inactive right now. The mine. That's what I mean. So they used it, they dug it up, and now they're just leaving a pit. Right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a scary thought. That's like when people uh, are looking to make bigger, huge, man-made canyons. Mm -hmm. Usually they carve it out and they always say, oh, we have a rebuild plan by this date. The earth doesn't understand that, right? When you carve out a hole, you're killing everything that's around it, usually. You mean like ecosystem? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, well, of yeah, course. yeah. I mean, that happens with any man-made structures though i mean the very towns true. that are put in you know we're over top of forests and fields very and, true very so true. anything that you put in will will disturb an ecosystem yeah, i just don't like I, i'm okay with setting settling and things of that nature as long as it's moved and you know once you create something there's always places made for nature right but when you dig something up normally you're not really creating space for nature you're taking space away Mm -hmm. Right, permanently. But what's the same? If they were to fill in the hole with all the stuff that they dug out, could then the ecosystem, you know, there's no over way they, time they sell a lot of it. A lot of the stuff that's pulled out of a mine is sold, right, right away. It's sold to companies that use the that use it for other things. Oh, like if they come across like other than diamonds. limestone, diamond. Oh, they're definitely in a cut. Like the the amount of cobble, the amount of uh, lime, and it's like anything. Minecraft. It's not like Minecraft. It's exactly like Minecraft. You can't. It's just like Minecraft. You're it's right. just like it's Minecraft. the same as Minecraft. They should just play Minecraft. We should just we should just turn real life into Minecraft. Because then if, if things start to go bad, plus just, I, I love refresh your world. Right, so. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching another episode of Grosh Talk. We we kept it mostly nature esque today. Nature esque, mine esque, nature esque, and magical. Graham can teleport, which is cool. Boo! If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps the show a lot. If you want to talk about our topic or ask a question, leave us a remark. Do that in the comment section down below. If you want to watch it with your friends, share it to your Facebooks or your Twitters. And last but not least, if you want to watch more of our videos or be alert when new ones come out, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.